Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to derive the expressions of ABCD parameters means generalized constants of medium transmission line using nominal pi method. For this, consider nominal pi model of medium transmission line as shown in figure. This is per phase equivalent circuit of medium transmission line with pi model. For this, to get the values of ABCD constants, first of all we have to write the standard expressions. As we have seen in previous video, we can write the standard expression of ABCD as Vs is equal to A into Vr plus V into IR equation number 1 and Is is equal to C into Vr plus D into IR equation number 2. Here, we have to first of all determine the expressions for given medium transmission line with my model so that we can compare that expressions with standard expression to get the value of ABCD constants. So, let us start. First of all, we are going to apply KVL to this mesh as a mesh 1. We get the expression by applying KVL to loop as Vs is the voltage across this capacitor which is at sending end side. So, Vs is equal to voltage across it. This capacitor across load can be considered as a Vr. So, Vr plus I1 into Z as current I1 flows through the impedance of transmission line. Equation number 3. Now, we will apply the KCL. We will consider this as a node P and this as a node Q. So, first of all, we will apply KCL to node P. As we get the value of current I1 equal to say these currents as ICR and these currents ICS. So, ICR plus IR. Equation number 4. But as we know by Ohm's law, ICR can be written as voltage across it upon its a resistance. Means it's a so you can write ICR as VR and 1 upon ZC is nothing but y, YC. Hence we can write VR into VR into Y is considered as Y by 2 because we are considering C by 2 and C by 2 at sending end and receiving end. Hence ICR becomes VR into Y by 2. Equation number 5. Now put this value in equation number 4. So I1 becomes equal to VR into Y by 2 plus IR. Equation number 6. Put this equation number 6 in equation number 3 here as a value of I1. Put value of I1 from 6 into equation 3 to get the value of Vs. Vs. So, Vs become equal to Vr plus Vr plus I1 as a Vr into y by 2 plus ir into z. Now, simplify this expression. V has become equal to vr plus vr y z by 2 plus ir. So, we can collect vr terms together. vr plus or we will take the vr as a common vr 1 plus yz by 2 plus here z z into ir equation number 7 so this equation number 7 is now in the form that can be comparable with standard expression equation 1 so we can get the value of a and b from equation 1 and 7 
before this we will derive the expression for the values of current get the value of current apply kcl to node q apply kcl to node q as by applying kcl to node q we can write the expression as is is equal to ics plus i1 so i can write here i s is equal to ics plus i1 but we can write ics similarly by ohms law voltage across it is vs upon z by 2 because it is a half of its total value of capacitance so vs into y by 2 equation number 8 so ics can be written as from equation of ics vs can be replaced from equation number 7 as ics is equal to vs as a vr plus vr y z by 2 ir into z into y by 2 from this so vs i am replaced here so multiply vr into y by 2 plus vr y square z by 4 plus ir y z by 2 so from this equation ics equation number 9 put this nine equation number in is is equal to vr y by 2 plus vr y square z by 4 plus ir y z by 2 as a ics and i1 we can write from equation number 6 vr y by 2 plus ir plus i1 as a vr y by 2 plus ir now simplify this vr y by 2 plus vr y square z by 4 plus we can collect together vr y by 2 plus we'll connect collect ir terms as a y z by 2 ir plus ir we'll take vr and ir common so vr in bracket y by 2 y by 2 we can write it as a y y square z by 4 plus ir as a common 1 plus y z by 2 this is the expression for is equation number 10 now we can see equation number 10 can be comparable with standard expression equation number 2 so we'll get by comparing equation 1 and 7 comparing comparing equation 1 and 7 and 2 and 10 we get the values of a b c d as a equal to as a equal to 1 plus y z by 2 and b is equal to z we can write the unit of a is unitless because the unit of y is 1 upon ohm and z is ohm get cancelled this as a ohm and by comparing equation 2 and 10 we get the value of c as a y plus y square z by 4 and d as a 1 plus y z by 2 we can write the unit of this c so unit becomes this as a 1 upon ohm 
here this get cancelled so 1 upon ohm is siemens and the unit of d is unitless as y and z units get cancelled so these are the parameters a b c d parameters now now we can check the conditions for reciprocal and symmetrical as we compare the conditions of symmetry symmetry conditions it is a equal to d and it is observed that a equal to d as 1 plus y z by d. second condition reciprocal condition it can be derived or it can be written as ad minus bc equal to 1 if we put the values of ad and bc here as 1 plus y z by 2 1 plus y z by 2 minus bc as a z into y plus y square z by 4 so it becomes 1 y z by 2 y z by 2 plus y square z square by 4 minus y z minus y square z square by 4 here y z by 2 y z by 2 will become 1 y z and this y z get cancelled and y square z square by 4 minus y square z square by 4 it becomes 1 so ad minus bc equal to 1 hence circuit is reciprocal as a equal to d circuit is symmetrical hence by this expression we can determine the values of a b c d generalized constants of medium transmission line using nominal pi method here we have written standard expression we have derived the expression of vs and is in such a way that that can be comparable with standard expression and after comparing we get the values of abcd if we know the values of abcd we can determine the values of vs is to get the parameters of transmission line by this expression vs is is equal to 1 plus y z by 2 b equal to z c is equal to y into bracket 1 plus y z by 4 and 1 plus y z by 2 into v r i r using this matrix we can determine the value of v s i s to get the performance parameter as a percentage regulation and percentage efficiency Thank you.